one more Monday night in Oakland, a celebration of John Madden, the majesty of his life and legacy. Hundreds of people gathering tonight at the Oakland Coliseum to say goodbye to Hall of Fame football coach and broadcasting legend, John Madden. To be here for all those games and to be here for this, this is very special. And we appreciate, like I said, the Madden family for giving us one last hoorah here in Oakland. KTVU's Janet Katsuyama is here with some of the many tributes at tonight's event. Quite a night, Janet. It was. It definitely was the final hurrah, a Valentine's Day full of love for this legend in football. There were a lot of memories, and even the tickets were $32.14. That was the winning score when Madden led the Raiders to their 1977 Super Bowl victory. One more. It was a homecoming. NFL and broadcasting legends, former Raiders players and fans gathered at the Oakland Coliseum for one more Monday night in Oakland, a celebration of the life of John Madden. I know he's up there. And I know he's smiling down. Madden's wife, Virginia, told the crowd after John passed away December 28th, she wanted his memorial there for Oakland and the fans he loved. John believes in the town of Oakland. He believed in the Coliseum. Most of all, he believed in the Raiders. The Oakland Raiders. Raiders faithful from across the region came in their black and silver, getting a pin at the door with his initials, JM. Sweet memories of the head coach who took the Oakland Raiders to a Super Bowl victory. Amazing grace shall always be. Former Raiders offensive tackle Henry Lawrence sang Madden's praises, joining other NFL stars remembering his big heart on and off the field. He was a man that could relate to the little guy and the big guy. And he didn't pull the punches. He was real. Everybody know John's a big man. It's a big personality. But I hope you know that he had the biggest heart of all. We had fun eating pizza, playing bocce, laughing. But we were able to raise over $8 million for some Bay Area charities. And there were members of his broadcasting family spanning 30 years. Listeners told us they'd be late for work. They'd stay in their cars. In the green room before the memorial, a quiet moment, sharing smiles and memories. You were on our ice fishing trip, right? I or was. We were on yours? I, no, I was on the ice fishing trip. At the Super Bowl in Minnesota, uh, John insisted that we take the Madden Cruiser up to Mille Lacs, the frozen lakes. Rod Rivera, head coach of the Washington Commander, says he'll never forget meeting Madden when he was just 15. And, you know, and, and introduced myself, and I was this, this, this punky kid. Here's this guy who's, who's this, this, this iconic figure, but yet he took the time to spend time with me and ask me questions. And we miss you, John. With tears and smiles, they remembered and said goodbye. It's a sad time having lost him, but he's still with us. He's inside of all of us, and he will be for the rest of our lives. And adding to that legacy, all of the proceeds from the tickets tonight will go to the Madden Foundation to give educational opportunities to Bay Area kids. And his wife, Virginia, announced that they had separate bank accounts. So she said she is going to take her own money, matching up to $1 million. Oh. Again, a way that John Madden and his family are giving back to the community. What a night. And he, he always led with kindness, too. Just a, just a wonderful guy. Yeah. Thank you, Jana.